It's Friday, October 12, 2012, uh, 2040, for about the last 40 minutes. They've been running the weapons because uh, they were called on their shit because we've got Unit 205 and we've got the lower units messing around. So there's a group of people in the lower units that are all gathered. And then, so it's not as loud here, or here. So it starts to get louder over here. And actually we have some people from the upstairs unit too. So they've got it going really loud. This is the hubris of the Friday night cruise. Directional. Residential harassment by recruited domestic terrorist perps. So we're on Friday, October 12, 2012, 2235. They're still doing it. They're, they've been playing it all the way through. So for the past about four hours, they've been playing, they've been using the weapons. So this is what they do. They harass people and then they get scared when the target responds. I don't I am going to respond every time someone violently uses a weapon against me inside my home. If they don't like it, then they don't have to do it. If they don't want to hear me, then don't turn it on. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to be threatened and attacked and think that these people can attack and you don't have a right to respond to the attacks. So I'll put the two tapes together because I have one beforehand that I taped earlier. That's when it started. I can get the time frame of when it started. So I'm just sitting. And you're going to need to use a headset because it's hard to record these low acoustic frequencies that are jammed right at your head area. And I can hear the lower unit moving stuff around. So obviously our lower unit 203 is heavily involved in targeting. So this right here 
has been running at high level for about four hours. But because it's projecting in here, what is it doing projecting way out there? There's no reason other than the fact that you have directional speakers. So I'm using a stethoscope. So it vibrates really loud off of here. The loudest comes here. Here. So it's at this level. Right here. So it's projecting. I can isolate where the speakers are coming, the spotlight is. Right here. Right here. Right here. This is where the spotlight's going. So here's the outsider. really loud right there. Okay, so from there. So it's about, the length of it is about this big. So it's about squared to about right here and over. That's the size of a hypersonic sound audio spotlight speaker. Next to three, between 304 and 306, one of those units has the ability. But then if you look at all these puckers in the wall, you'll know where they set up stuff. All right, it's real blatant. They don't even bother to hide anymore. They just rough shot everything all the way across and you see where they they run they rig lines so anyway what I'm doing is I'm just checking sound because they've had it running for about four hours tonight and the reason why you need to use headsets is because it's hard to record low acoustic vibration vibroacoustics these are what my neighbors do on a daily and nightly basis. And because we're on Friday, they have outsiders that are visiting, and they do it even more. You don't hear it as much here. Put the headsets on and see if you hear it here.
Put the headsets on and see if you hear it here. And boy, when you sit here, it really hums. Put your headsets on, or turn the volume up. And what you hear at high is what they have projecting at my head for the last four hours. So as you can tell, when you go in the hallway, that's not outside the building. That's not a satellite. That's a piece of equipment that they're using, putting a microphone to, and projecting the sound. Probably recorded. It's here. Have remote access to turn it on and off when they feel like. So it's Friday. They have their friends over. And they think that it's okay to do this to someone. So that's, this is a weapon. I'm being attacked by a weapon. Now how many... I'm isolating it to walls that they're generating from. And areas where it's vibrating. So these neighbors think that they're victims. They're not the victims of the crime. They're the perpetrators of the crime. Why would something that's out in the hallway, way over there, on the other side over there, be generating right here?